Oh, man, what a mission. Hell of a thing you just pulled off, Commander. Curing the genophage? I never thought I'd see the day. Rex has agreed to help the Turians, Admiral. We should get their full support. I take it that leaves the Solarians out of the equation. The cost of their support was too high, sir. Well, I'll defer to your judgment on that, Commander. Let's hope we don't need them. Pack it out. Commander, heard not Rex has begun sending troops to Palavan. You kept your end of the bargain, and now I'll keep mine. The Turian hierarchy will stand with humanity against the Reapers. We're going to need you. Don't forget where we live. Never. It's clear we all fight together, or die. To that end, several dry dock ships are ready to help build the Crucible. Garrus will coordinate them. Yes, sir. And when the time comes to deploy it, the full measure of our fleet will be there for Earth. May the spirits watch over us all. I'll start managing Turian support right away, Shepard. You must be exhausted. Morden dying, it can't be easy. I'll sleep when I'm dead. We both know you need a clear head to win a war. There's no room for mistakes here. You should catch some shut-eye. I'll make sure Joker doesn't launch any suicide missions. Anything happens, you let me know. Everyone needs a friend, like Garrus and Rex. Everyone. Damn, it's been a while since we've been here. It's open. Shepard, there's something you need to hear. All right. Is this a bad time? It's fine. Tell me what's going on. The Solarian Counselor has an urgent matter. Let me guess. She called the comm room? The Council must be taking the Crucible seriously. I'll see you downstairs. Commander. Can I help you, Counselor? Shepard, I want you to understand that I owe my position to you, and it's not something that I take lightly. Were it not for you, that weak-minded Counselor Valorn would still be alive, leading the Solarians down the sewage pipe. But now I'm forced to champion a cure for the Genophage. It's like saying we need a hurricane to put out a wildfire. 
It's not a wildfire. It's the death of the galaxy. Drum that into your people's heads. They'll follow you. A short-term solution, but the short-term may be all we have. Has a ring to it. But that is not the only reason I contacted you. The other regards humanity's counselor, Udina. We need to talk about his activities. The less than legal ones. Can I shoot Come him? Come see me next time you're on the Citadel. Ishiel out. Okay. I mean... He's a scumbag. I don't like him. Okay. Commander Shepard, something you need to talk about? What? I said you called me. What about the extra help we picked up along the way? The Krogan and Turians have obviously been a big help. Erdnog Rex running the show is a bonus for us. And that female Krogan you rescued is rallying more support from the other clans. I'm glad you disabled that bomb on Tachunka. We could have lost a lot of Krogan support. As it is, we picked up some Turian troops. Good to hear. How about the Solarians? Interesting wrinkle. We've been getting back channel commitments from the strike teams within STG. They're promising to back us. Even after I cured the genophage? Our intel suggests there are cracks developing between the military and the politicians. These STG guys know the score. They're not going to jeopardize the entire Solarium Union just because some Delatras didn't get her way. Thank fuck for that. What about Arya's mercenaries? Arya Talok, there's someone I never thought we'd be in bed with. The blood pack will be useful and violent. Mostly Vorcha, I hear. We'll put the Blue Suns to good use. Intel says Narnir Vosk is bringing his men and that they're gunning for a fight. The Eclipse are providing troops and mechs. When we find a Reaper soft spot, they'll help us hit it. Don't want to know how you got Arya's cooperation, but whatever you did, it was worth it. What about the Rachni? I wouldn't have believed it, but the Rachni are helping us build the Crucible. You're kidding. Turns out they have a knack for weapons of mass destruction. In hindsight, I guess they'd know a thing or two about waging a galactic war. No problems with them then? Other than scaring the hell out of our engineers, no. Not a lot of small talk going on there. What's our state of readiness, Admiral? I won't lie, Shepard. We're bogged down. Things aren't looking good in most sectors. We need to increase the tempo and chalk up some wins, otherwise... This won't end well for the human race. Or any race. Do you know how the other races are doing against the Reapers? Believe it or not, the Turians and Krogan actually seem to be getting along. Erdnot Rex has deployed troops, and they're giving the Reapers a moment of pause. The Solarians are still hanging on to Sirkesh, but the Reapers are starting to breathe down their necks, too. What about the Asari? They have to be feeling the heat. The Reapers are moving fast with the obvious intent of taking Thessia. Interestingly, the Reapers are leaving Parnak alone. It's the Yogg homeworld. Can't say that I blame them. Yogg have teeth. Well, if we lose this war, it might be them running the next cycle. It's easy to forget the Reapers don't destroy every species. Just the ones who can threaten them. Hmm. Uh, yeah, what about the Quarians? Where's, um, Tali? Have we heard anything from the Quarians or Geth? Something might be brewing near the Geth border, but our intel is sketchy. News is getting harder to come by as things get worse. Any word on the Volus and Elcor? The Turians and the Krogan sent forces to the Volus homeworld, Irun. It might not be enough, but at least they've got Reaper forces bogged down in a nasty ground war. As for Elcor, they're still in the fight. Though our projections show the Reapers encroaching on their territory soon. What happened to the Batarians? Never stood a chance, hit by the Reapers straight out of the gate. And without any allies to call on, I think the Batarians are history. Oh shit. God damn, okay. Nothing more, sir. Keep me posted. Hack it out. Uh, yeah, how are we? Oh, 25 grand. Don't mind if I do. Nearly at the minimum threshold, but of course we're going to be doing as much as possible. Bethany, you see the bids of the mod 
not taking down the Reaper? Man, I wish I could have been there. I'm just glad the diplomats are off the ship. A Krogan and a Turian in the same room is a fight waiting to happen. Have you not met Rex and Garrus? God damn. Commander, Admiral Hackett has requested your help with a Cerberus fighter base on Navaria. Uh, of course. My project. The Arat Sony. Shepard, I've been working on something I'd like to show you. Can we meet in your quarters when you have a moment? Hmm. Okay. New article on Reaper. Uh, Ferris, a group of colonists and Ferris have mounted a defensive against arriving Reaper forces, holding them back long enough for civilians from nearby colonies to escape. The informal militia from Zeus Hope, said to be survivors of a savage Geth attack several years ago, has repelled initial Reaper landing attempts with a level of wartime competence more common to seasoned platoons. Colonies are using improvised weapons as well as supplies salvaged from a defunct exogenite facility. This colony is our is our home. Colony spokesperson Lisbeth Bainham said, We've survived worse and we know how to fight together. The colony is expected to have time for full evacuation before Reaper forces arrive. Impressive work. General Corinthus, Commander Shepard, when you first arrived on Manet, I had a hard time seeing how you flying off with one of our best generals would benefit our fight against the Reapers. However, as I now watch Turian and Krogan fighters working together to take down a Reaper destroyer, I must admit I am impressed. You've brokered an alliance that many thought impossible. Palavan might be saved after all. Great respect, General Corinthus, Manet Command. Making babies from Earth, not Rex. Shepard, making babies again will be fun. Okay. As soon as this war is over, let's just say I'll do my part to build our numbers back up. You really came through for us. I'm proud to call you my friend. Eve is in the Kelphic Valley, enlisting support from the other clans and spreading the word. She's going to be a great leader. Most of the males won't like me sharing power with her, but too bad. I run the show. We're off to save the Turians now, since apparently they forgot how to hold a gun. <laughs> Even in the nicest moments, he can't help but put a dig at someone, and I love it. <clears throat> from Dalatras Linwan. Commander, I am deeply disappointed by your actions on Tachanka. As I thought, I made clear curing the genophage will have long-term consequences. Once the Reaper threat has passed, our combined forces will be so depleted that no race in the galaxy will be capable of stopping a resurgent Krogan. Moreover, the Krogan will undoubtedly seek revenge for the genophage, and the Salarian Union will be among their first targets. When that day comes, Commander, the blood of my people will be on your hands. I am ashamed to also learn that our own scientist sacrificed his life carrying out your orders. This is a dark day, not only for my people, but all of galactic civilization. Dalatrus, Linrun, Salarian Union. Now, it's easy for you to say, sitting in your comfy little office behind the desk, pushing paper around. You bitch. Get down here and fight with the rest of us. Oh, politicians. Screw the lot of them. Look at that galaxy map. Do you know how many strategy games are built from that interface? You play strategy games? A few. Most are too flashy, though. I prefer chess. I have a set made from rose quartz and hematite back home. I like the feel of something solid in my hands. That's what she said. If I'm going to play a game, I need something a bit more exciting. Well, I doubt it compares to lobbing a grenade at a charging Krogan. Few things do. But it also results in fewer broken bones. The Turians have given us top-level access to their combat data. Their ships are already moving in to help the Alliance fleet. You actually secured a Krogan-Turian alliance. It's one thing to hear about Commander Shepard. It's another to see him in action. You got a soft spot, have we? Commander. Right, I'm going to quickly check in with, uh, you know, Joker, Eve, Liara, all the rest of them. All right, my turn. What's the first order an Alliance commander gives at the start of combat? It's Eve. Uh, I give up. Correct. <laughs> All right, big guy. What do you call it when a Turia gets killed by a horrible spiky monster? Friendly fire. Come on, that one goes back to Shang-Chi. How you gotta respect the classics? How many humans does it take to activate a dormant mass relay? 602. 600 to vote on it, one to ask the Asari for technical help, and one to request a seat on the council afterward. How do you know when a Turian's out of ammo? He switches to the stick up his ass as a backup weapon. <laughs> Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? You're, you're shitting me. The Turian military has one about me? Oh, absolutely. I heard it myself from a private back on Palavin. All right. Why does the Alliance hire pilots with brittle bone disease? So their Marines can beat someone in hand-to-hand -hand drills. 
Damn, you need to tell James that one. Hey, what's the hardest part about treating a Turian who took a rocket to one side of his face? Figuring out which side took the rocket. <laughs> what? <laughs> this is such a good interaction, but I'm just completely confused. <laughs> Never thought I'd see the Krogan and the Turians team up. Even the Reapers have to be a little nervous about pissing them off. I'd say more than a little. I'm sorry about Morden. He was a good man. Yeah, he was always running those tests. And one time he tagged me in the middle of the night to ask how many livers humans had. And this bump on my elbow? He said it was just a mild bone deformation, but I'm pretty sure he stuck a probe in there. Glad it was just your elbow. I always thought he was crazy. Useful, but crazy. Then he gives up his own life. <laughs> to save the Krogan. Doesn't do much to disprove the crazy theory, huh? <laughs> I guess not. But he was one of ours. So now that we got the Krogan and the Turians, what now? The Krogan help us turn the tide on Palavin. They can shoot at something useful for a change. Dig till we hit daylight, huh? Works for me. So how does it feel knowing Krogan will be singing songs about you until the end of time? I think it would be an honor. To be honest, I did it so the Krogan would help your people. And believe me, it won't be forgotten. Our fleets will be there for Earth. I'll make sure of it. I know you will. And let's hope Rex keeps running the show on Tachanka. Maybe we should hire a food taster for him. Imagine the carnage if someone like that brother of his Reeve took over. It could happen. I know. It's a chance we have to take. But I have to say, if it wasn't my own world that needed the help, I might have taken that Salarian deal. I could never bring myself to do that, no matter what I was offered. I admire your restraint, Shepard. It's nice when we can save the galaxy without destroying another race along the way. Yeah. Let's hope our luck holds. Plus that Dalatrus is now at the top of my shit list. Commander. I wonder where all the Krogan will live now. I've never seen what you'd call a house on Tachanka. I wonder where all the Krogan okay. will live now. Right, where the hell is he? What you'd call a house. Commander, Chief Engineer Adams would like to speak with you down in engineering. Okay. What? Commander, remember the problem I mentioned about a core overload possibly venting into the engineering compartment? Edie and I have been brainstorming and comparing notes. I'm confident we can make the system safer. We just need a GX-12 thermal pipe. Unfortunately, we're cut off from Alliance supply chains. Could you keep an eye out for one the next time you're on the Citadel, Commander? I've got the specs right here. Are these modifications really necessary? It's a safety issue, not exactly critical. Under extreme conditions, like heavy bombardment to the kinetic barriers while traveling at peak flight speeds, plasma can vent into this compartment. It would vaporize anyone standing in this room. That sounds more serious than just a safety issue. <laughs> <laughs> well, under those conditions, odds are you're about to lose the entire ship anyway. But we should take every advantage we can get. If I can find one, I'll check the cost. Our resources may be better spent elsewhere. Of course, Commander. I mean, I will go get one, but... It's, uh, not at the top of my priority list. Also, how much money do we have? 60k? Hmm, need some more money. Since I'm here, let's chat to Javik. Settling in, Javik? I believe some of the crew wishes to be my friend. That is not my purpose here. Also, I find I need to wash my hands. The residue of the ship is strong. How so? I have been exploring. There are traces of those who lived on the Normandy before. I detected a human female. Her genetic structure was unnatural, as if artificially created. Miranda? Sounds like Miranda. And a drill. There was illness in him. Thane. Thane. And the Krogan we met, who lived in these quarters. He was undergoing a metamorphosis. His memories were confused, not organic to his mind. There was great confusion and turmoil. I still can't wrap my head around that. Reading information like you do. 
For my people, it was as natural as breathing. Evolution's an amazing force. Our scientists believed it was the only force in the galaxy that mattered. They called it the cosmic imperative. The strong flourished, the weak perished. The governments of your cycle seem concerned with ensuring the survival of all. Was this imperative just your scientists' opinion? Or did they prove something we don't know? The universe had already proven it. They only had to look around. And saw what exactly? Extinction is the rule of law in the cosmos. The natural order of things. The weakest species are doomed. We can't afford any weak links in this war. They drain our resources. They can become a resource of their own. How? Oh. If the Reapers are busy conquering the weak, they are not watching you. So, use them as a distraction. All strategies must be considered, and few are too extreme. Though I do not think your Asari approves of my beliefs. Liara? I think she just had a different idea about what Protheans were like. We are all a product of our time. Had I been born in this cycle, perhaps I would be the noble scholar she wishes me to be. Maybe. Or maybe you'd still be a soldier. I do wonder sometimes. Living a life of constant war, taking life in every battle. Does it get to you? It shapes me. A stone is shaped by the one who carves it. This stone has no choice in the form it would take. You and I, Commander. War is our sculptor. And we are prisoners to its design. Maybe not much longer. We win this, and we'll both be set free. Thank you, Commander. I have seen the death of a Reaper. It has been a long time. Let's hope it's the first of many. Yes. A difficult fight remains. I would have accepted the Salarian deal, and not told the Krogan. Morality and friendship do not matter now. Your allies are simply resources to use against the Reapers. If the Krogan seek retribution for the past, do not waste time on sterility plagues. Destroy them where they stand. In the meantime, they are useful cannon fodder against the Reapers. Do not care what others think. Do what you must. I do, and that includes you. Do not care what okay. others think. Do what you must. What is this thing? I kept looking at it. Who knows? Any sign of life? The Reaper destroyed by the Thresher Maw appears to be completely inert, Doctor. We would need to send in teams to be sure. Out of the question. Tell the Krogan to stay away. I had something I wanted to show you, Shepard. Could we meet in your cabin when you have a moment? I want to show you something I've been working on. Let me know if we can meet in your cabin, Shepard. Okay, sure. Mass relay traffic reports. Uh, oh. Anything else? Nope, okay. At your service. Shut up, Liv. You got your lab back, I see. Take care, Commander. Okay, bye then. Oh, there you are. The BD. What are you up to now? I'm uploading data on the destroyed Reaper to the Turians. They are investigating possible Reaper structural weakness. Our data says Reaper capital ships such as Sovereign are of unique design. However, smaller Reaper destroyers bear similarities. That one was small? Relatively, yes. Ground attack ships are only 160 meters in height. Sovereign was approximately two kilometers. Well, keep talking to the Tyrians. If there's a chink in the Reaper's armor, we all need to know it. Hello, Shepard. Hello, Shepard. Okay. I'm invite Liara. Oh, shut up. Good thing. Feed the fish. Look at all the fish. Uh, I don't think there's anything going on here. Can I invite you up, I suppose? Liara, you had something you wanted to discuss in my cabin? Yes, I'll be right up.
Come on in. Thank you. Could we sit? I've been thinking about the knowledge we gathered on the Reapers, and how easily it could be lost again. So, I put a plan in motion to preserve things for the future. What's this? A record of the galaxy. Information on the Reapers, relays, different cultures, and blueprints of the Crucible. But there's one entry I wanted your opinion on. Which one? Your own. I'd be honored to have your input. How would you like history to remember you? 50,000 years is a long time for a computer to sit around. Please, I was an archaeologist. I know what I'm doing. I'm encasing these records in time capsules and seeding copies on multiple planets. And while it's not foolproof, the VI I'm installing has every translation and linguistics program I could find. So it's an information guide like Vigil on Ilos? Yes. I've been preparing it for some time. And it will be a privilege to guide the future discoverers of these records. Have you decided what you would like Dr. Tassoni to write in your entry, Commander? <laughs> we can go the honesty route, I think. Route? Route, rather. Put down the truth. Good, bad. Don't leave anything out. Let history be the judge. I'll give them the facts. Let me just delete all these breathless passages on your heroics. You writing anything I can't live up to? I can't help myself. You're a good friend, Shepard. It's good to have a crew I can trust. Maybe we don't always say it so plainly, but... We're proud to be here, Shepard. And proud of you. Thanks. Oh, that's quite a nice moment. And Glyph has a purpose, I suppose. Right. Uh, we'll check with the guys down in Shadow Bay, but... Uh, actually, we've got, we've got a new armor piece, right? I swear. Like the Death Mask or something? No, not you. Death Mask. What is that? What does it do? Melee damage. Yeah. Gives me shield regen. Hmm. We're going to stick with this for now. Do we have anything else? It'd be interesting to go through this in like a, a melee build at some point. Alright, well. Where? Oh, he's over there. Is everything okay, Shepard? Sir. I suppose so. Where's James? You think that cure they dispersed could do anything to us? We're not going to start growing scales or anything, right? More protection. Maybe now that we have the Krogan on board, we can go back to fighting the Reapers. I was looking at the specs on that Reaper you took out on Tachanka. That was one of the small ones? Don't get me wrong, it's still dead, but damn. There was nothing small about it. Yeah, and you weren't the one being shot at by it. Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Do you hear that hum? Is that just me? Crazy man. Um... Weapon upgrades... Hmm... Double check real quick. A Hornet. Is that the SMG from the previous game? It's pretty cheap. Long range SMG. Oh, three round burst though. Yeah. E gel thermal conduit. Cool. Not sure what that's for, but I guess I'll buy it. Alright, we're gonna save for a bit, I think. Um I 
How long is the Paladin? Paladin hits a lot harder. I will say the sound of it is a bit weird and a bit annoying though. Rounds per mag. Bullet pierce. This thing was alright, but just... I don't know, it was weird. Like it relies on the charge. <clears throat> Go back to the weird... Yeah, this thing. Death beam gun. Um... Weapon damage, ammo capacity, and weight. We do want to start getting some of these because the weight reduction will probably really come in handy. Um, obviously, as well as the damage and the capacity, but... I don't know. I'm going to use the phalanx a little bit more and just see which one I prefer. But now, I think I'm leaning towards the phalanx. Meet the Slayerian Counselor. I got the Dock Boy 2, Citadel. Oh yeah, we gotta do that. Yeah, we'll do that. Sure, let's go do this first. Neveria is a small, frozen, terrestrial world, barely habitable by conventional definitions. It is privately chartered by the Noveria Development Corporation, who lease out labs for research too dangerous or controversial to be performed elsewhere. Isn't this where we found the Rachni Queen in one, I think? I think this is the place. I've always brought significant attention to this otherwise obscure planet. Noveria is home to some of the most advanced research in the galaxy, a sure magnet for Cerberus interest. Further, Noveria's mass relay is the stop between the Humans Exodus Cluster and the beginning of a Salarian space. It is a safe bet that the Salarians will defend their borders to the utmost. Sure. We'll deal with some Cerberus shit. We'll take... Uh... Garrus and Liara. Why not? Let's mix things up a bit. Oh, you can have the get the uh, the geth weapon. Weapon pier uh, armor pierce and got sixty percent extra mag. Thirty percent chance of not using the thermal clip. Yes. More ammo, I guess. And you got that, that's fine. Then, yeah, you're fine. Actually. No, oh, I can't go back. Oh, fuck it. Um. <laughs> modification. Damage protection. Oh, I still can't use that. Derp. Hmm. Increase health and armor dynamic damage by six percent. Yep. Confirm. Commander, the enemy has a strategic advantage in this sector thanks to the fighter squadron facility you're about to attack. We want to seize it, but their air defenses are too strong for a frontal assault. Losses would be too cost prohibitive. How do you want me to handle this? Go in the back, bring down their defenses so we can send in the troops. Good luck, Commander. I have visual contact. There's a small platform above the main landing pad. I can drop you there, but it's got to be now. Let's do it. Commander, you'll have to find the... 
command center to take down their defenses. Keep an eye out for the command center. They've seen us. I like the performance of this gun as well because it doesn't kick very much. But I don't think the other one did either, but it's fine. Better for sustained fire as well. I'm looking for things, damn it. Can I break your ship? Where's this go? Stick that head up. flying away in the background. Oh, uh, oh. Mind. Use this. Ah, oh, there we go. More defense. Curious, how long does this last? I just res her and then she could, like fell over immediately. So far, so good, Shepard. Looks like we found the control center. Right, hold on, because I'm still checking things. Weekly processing report, Sergeant Parker. All on base personnel have been processed. Integration of protocols updated successfully. Keep your eyes open. We're getting close. Thanks, eyes up, right? Getting better. Oh, we'll save that. We don't need it right now. It's just like an enemy spawn point. Spare parts. Good, because I'm desperately in need of all the money. That's where I started, right? Yeah, okay. I didn't think there was anything. Can I jump over this? Nope. Can I mess with the ship? I want to play with it. Four, so we'll check here. Goes up there. All right, I think we're good. Damn it! This will take a while. Commander, you've got enemies inbound, and we can't wait. Someone's got to get those defenses down ASAP. Liara. Liara, I'm counting on you. Right away. Just the intel person. Plus, Garrus is a better shot. Ready, Commander. No problem, Cortez. Get out of there. We'll wait for your all clear, then relay to the strike force. Warning. Warning. Security breach. Initiating lockdown. Fail safe. Shepard outside channels have been scrambled. Let's bring down their defenses. We'll worry about that later. You don't need that. There's somebody with that. Command 
must be synchronized. Defense system deactivated. General Order 7 slash 7 triggered. Establish contingency defenses. Shepard, I'm tracking a large scale deployment to the landing pad. Then that's where we need to go. Oh, hi. Great big gun. I had a turret. Oh, it's Garrus. Oh, it's Nemesis. Oh, Iron Man, shut up. I'll get the many jellets in here. No, give me the damn medi gel. Thank you. I got two from that. Nice. Trying to break through the interference. Cortez, I read you. Come in. There you are, Commander. Had to get through the interference. Area clear. Signaling the strike force. Wait. Scan's picking up something coming your way. Proximity alert. Deploying armed response. Shepard, look out! Give it everything you've got! Give it oh. Hold on. This gun's busted. <laughs> it's so strong. I think it's over, Shepard. Anyone wounded? Just the usual minor flesh wound. Copy that, Lieutenant. Coming in to pick you up. All right, cool. This was a major victory, Commander. A crippling blow to Cerberus operations in this sector. Now all we have to do is maintain control of the facility. Cerberus won't make that easy. And we won't make it easy on them. Thanks to you, we can use their own defenses against them. Tell your team they did good, Commander. You should be proud. Thank you, sir. That's all. Hack it out. My team always does good. What do you mean? Unread messages at your private terminal, Commander. Ednot Bakara, Commander, I'm writing you from the Kelphic Valley on Tuchanka. I wish you were here to see this. I'm watching Krogan pour in from across our entire planet. So many of them that I've lost count. They've all heard the news. We are finally free. The age of suffering is over. Never again will Krogan be afraid to give birth. Never again will they fear the pain and heartache it might bring. While I don't know what fate ultimately has in store for my people, I can promise you your decision to believe in us will not be in vain. We will fight the Reapers for more than glory. We will fight them because we know there is a future for us after victory. The rest of my life will be devoted to traveling to Chanka. Speaking aloud the words no Krogan has heard for nearly 2,000 years, there is reason to hope. This I owe to you, Commander. This I will never forget. Well, thank you, friend.